We're sitting here in what looks like an ordinary Mini Cooper, although there's a difference. When you turn it on, you hear nothing. Why is that? Because it's all electric. This thing is powered by lithium ion cells and we're gonna take it for a little spin. Here we are driving along and we can get some nice serious power uh, in this car, enough to beat New York City taxi cabs. It feels fast because these cars have maximum torque from moment one. There's zero buildup of torque in an electric car because the motors are instant on. With a top speed of at least 120 miles per hour and a range of 200 miles, this electric Mini is it's a serious performer. Here. Welcome to New York City traffic. The inside doesn't feel very different from your average Mini. I must admit, the uh, the difference between driving any electric car, though, is pretty striking, and that's that the gas pedal is either on or off. It doesn't, you don't get that uh, precise modulation that you get with gasoline, but you do get a hell of a lot of power. And speaking of differences, the electric Mini costs only $25,000 more than a regular Mini Cooper. About as much as we get to open anything up in this city. So this, this uh, Mini Cooper now is all lithium, yet it's got the same punch, the same power, and the same thrill that, that the regular Mini Cooper has. All these vehicles scream to the public that electric power is here, it's happening, it's now, and you're not gonna sacrifice a cool vehicle. So now, to be electric, to be alternative, is, is something that's not only within the realms of, of, of West Coast Berkeley, California, we're talking now about the hip New Yorkers, you know, celebrities, hip hop stars, they're all saying green is the new bling, and absolutely that's true. For PopularMechanics.com, I'm Glenn Doreen.